This is the story of one glamour model, her long-suffering parents, six dogs and two houses in Essex. Jodie Marsh loves her dogs. I can see myself when I'm 80 years old not having a husband or kids, just having like 50 dogs. Oh yes, Jodie loves her dogs, but she also loves her brand new shiny house. I've spent quite a lot of money doing it up. You know, my furniture's lovely and quite expensive. But so far, only her beloved bulldog, Paddy, has been allowed to move in. He's like a best friend, boyfriend, husband, everything all rolled into one. He's not like a dog, he's like a human. So Jodie and Paddy are loving their new home. But what of Jodie's other dogs? There's Baby, her sister Bean, Teddy, the oldest, and the very vocal Tommy. Well, the four chihuahuas have been left at home with Mum and Dad because this little pack have a serious problem with pee. I don't want to move my chihuahuas in here because they will pee all over the floor and pee all up my sofas. Yes, Jodie's decided that these tearaways are best left to pee on Mum and Dad's floor. It's quite distressing, really. We used to always have lots of people over, and I just find it embarrassing now. I'm up to my neck in wee every day, all day. <laughs> this is one of their favourite areas to pee. They pee all over my dining table and the chairs. Jodie, you'd have to train them. We did try and train yeah, them. Yeah, well, you keep saying you're going to, but you don't. And now you've moved into a new house and left us to it. I want to take them to mine, but I just don't want them peeing on the floor. No. Let them pee on my floor. <laughs> I think now I've probably reached the end of my tether. I'm absolutely sick of cleaning up after the dogs. But it's not just a house full of pee that Jodie's mum and dad have to put up with. This little brat pack love to fight. The two girls, Baby and Bean, are always fighting amongst each other. You can't pick them up at the same time because they will literally kill each other. Well, I don't know why they do it. They're sisters. They were born together. They've grown up together. They should love each other. But it's bruiser bulldog Paddy that bears the brunt of the Chihuahua aggression. It really upsets me when they pick on Paddy. They bite him and bark at him and hang off of his chops and everything. You know, they're just awful to him. So how does Jodie try and deal with this pack of peeing, pugnacious pests? By buying another dog, of course. This is Lila. <laughs> and this is what I bought last week. Lovely puppy Lila brings the pack to six. My first reaction was one of absolute horror. I couldn't believe that she'd done it. As Lila joins the fight club, have Mum and Dad finally had enough? I yes. think Jodie should take more responsibility. She's the one that brought them into this house, and as much as we love them, she should have them and deal with it. With a doggy toilet for a dining room, the Marsh family needs help. So can dog trainer Victoria Stillwell flush the two hours out and get Jodie's ever-growing pack of fighting hounds under one roof? It amazes me that people go out and buy more and more dogs without thinking about the consequences. It's just not like going out shopping. You have to research the breeds, think about compatibility, and then put some serious hard work into training your pack. Victoria will have her work cut out if she's got any hope of moving the dogs out of Mum and Dad's and into Jodie's. Hello. Hello. Hi, nice to nice meet, to meet you. you. And this hey. is Paddy. Hi, Paddy. And this is Lila. Hello, Lila. And now you've got to meet the two hours. Okay. Are you ready? Right. <laughs> Come on then. <laughs> Interesting. Hello. Oh my goodness, Hello. me. <laughs> Hello. Victoria gets straight down to business with a tour of the wee soaked dining room. We've got pee on the floor over there. Right. We've got pee on this toy here. It does smell of urine in here. Yeah. And it's not long until Victoria sees evidence of the pack's other charming behaviour. These two, Baby and Bean, right. are sisters. Yep. And they fight constantly. Right. 
oh. growling at each other. Oh, yeah. Oh. 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 <laughs> See, that's the answer. Eddie, Eddie, come here. That's very loud. <laughs> There's a lot of um, sexual competition going on here. Unspayed bitches that are sisters um, have a high predisposition to fight. Now, that's a real true dominant position now. She's fully over. Good thing going on. Here we go. D don't you dare lift your leg on me. <gasps> You rotten little girl, did you see that? I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my god. No! Take him away. No! That's Come it. On. What we've got here is a classic example of pack politics. You've got the two female chihuahuas, that's Baby and Bean, and they're constantly fighting. Then you've got the two male chihuahuas, Tommy and Teddy, and they're constantly fighting with Paddy, the bulldog, because they see Paddy as a threat to the girls. Then you've got little Lila, who is really at risk of being severely bullied, especially by the females. <gasps> fighting and bullying aside, chihuahuas can make loyal, loving pets. It's thought both long and short-haired varieties originated from the state of Chihuahua in Mexico. Surprisingly, these miniature mutts were originally bred as hunting dogs, so don't be fooled by their celebrity handbag image. They have no fear and may take on dogs of any size. Chihuahuas are intelligent and feisty, and if overindulged, will soon rule the roost. And that's exactly what's happened here, as Jodie lets her dogs join her for lunch. Okay. It's not something I encourage, I can tell you. Mm. They've got cleaner mouths than any boyfriend <laughs> I've ever had. <laughs> oh, Jodie. Oh, my word. Bean's favourite is a madras. I, I think Jodie's probably slightly worse than the fact that she actually feeds Paddy from her fork. <gasps> I feed all of them from my fork. Do you feed them from your fork? <laughs> yes. Paddy, come here. High five. Good boy! I like it because it's a bit of a trick. Oh, you will have a drink a bottle. times next, No, but you? I would if you could. <laughs> Proud of Paddy's performance, Jodie has less faith in her chihuahua's abilities. If you can teach them chihuahuas to sit, I will faint. I think you've got a big, big challenge on you. Yeah. Really? I really do. Yeah. All right. Five pounds, I bet. Six. I can do it. Deal. No, Deal. <laughs> Victoria wants to see the dogs work off their luxury lunch. All right. Do you take them on walks? Uh, not the Chihuahuas, because they have a run every day out here. But walking is much more than just exercise. Right. Walking is about discovering new smells, sights and sounds of your environment. Can you call them back in to you when you want to go back in? Do they come Sometimes. back? Sometimes. Not all the time. <laughs> Tommy! Tommy! The control you have over them, Jodie, is wonderful. <laughs> really obedient. <laughs> Very obedient. Tommy! Come on! He, this is selective hearing. Paddy! Oh, don't you act up. You're the good one. Come on. There's a lot of work to do. Come on. A lot of work. Mum and Dad are always looking out for pee. This is one of their favourite areas to pee. And even though they're Jodie's dogs, cleaning up is mostly left to Dad. Dirty little dogs. Do you always do this, then? Yeah, this is part of my daily routine. Jodie's got a bit of a blind spot. She'll walk in and just not see it. I think it would be nice if you didn't have to clean up here anymore. Definitely. Shh. Now it's going to be combined effort, okay. not just you. Right. Okay. So you're going to convince Jodie she's got to put the work in as well? Yeah, I will. Sounds good to me. Although the family think they've been cleaning up the pee, they haven't been using specialised products. So traces of the urine remain and show up in ultraviolet light. This is what the dogs can smell and it encourages them to keep scent marking. So Victoria places markers to show the family just how much pee is left in the room. You've got two problems here, a house training problem and a urine marking problem. 
You have competition going within that pack. That's why they pee on their, on their toys. That's why they pee on their beds. It's my bed, it's my toy, it's my food bowl. The pack dynamic is all wrong. The four chihuahuas form a tight-knit pack. And then you brought another dog in. And that dog is causing problems and frictions. Mm -hmm. Now, you brought another dog in, little Lila. And you know what, I fear for her, but you put that little dog down on that floor, those dogs are gonna have her. Why did you go and get another dog? I think you're quite impulsive. Mm. And that don't think things through. Did you ask your parents? Because they're looking after the dogs a lot of the time. Yeah, well, I asked my dad and he, I'm gonna get him into trouble now because my mum didn't know I'd spoken to my dad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, but so, don't have actually him. asked him before you I said, him. do you think before it's a wise idea to get another bulldog to go with Paddy? And he said, yes, I do. You got the dogs, therefore they're your responsibility. Yeah. Not your parents, but they're your responsibility, 100%. And they go wherever you go, mm. whether you have white carpets or not. I know that you adore your dogs, and I know you do anything for your dogs. So this is where you have to. I'm going to give you a plan where you're going to have to work really, really hard. We have to do it. We can't go on anymore. We can't go on any longer like this, can we, really? There are three core problems here. Peeing, fighting and obedience. We have two days, four unruly chihuahuas. This is going to be really tough. It's day one of training and Jodie is feeling inspired. I'm willing to put 200% into it and work really, really hard, if nothing else, just for Victoria, because I know that she will slap my wrist badly if I don't do it. <laughs> First up for eager student Jodie is a little maths lesson in doggy waterworks. How many times do you fill the ball up during a day? Two or three times. Two or three times. Yeah. And this shot glass represents your chihuahua's bladder. Yeah. So, if you think about it, that's about how much water their bladder can take. Their water bowl can fill ten little chihuahua bladders, and they're getting three bowls a day. That's over seven full bladders per day, per dog. Their bladders can't retain all that water, so they yeah. have to release it. Time for step one of Victoria's plan. The tinkle timer, set to go off at regular intervals before bladders reach bursting point. These dogs have to go out every hour and every 60 minutes this time is going to go off and that means that whatever you're doing you've got to get up and take your dogs out step two detox the dining room Jody gets scrubbing with a special pet deodorizer this should remove any trace of the ammonia smell that's so enticing to the dogs you missed the spot <laughs> Oh. All right, time to take the dogs out. Come on, everybody out. So Jodie will have to let the dogs out every hour, but it's not just the lawn they want to water. Oh, don't pee on his head. Despite going al fresco, these dogs will still pee on everything and anything put down on their turf. When we go out the room, these dogs are going to scent mark all of these objects yeah. on the floor. When I see it, I'm going to make a loud noise and come back into the room. On your marks. This is pure temptation, but which dog will crack first? Really quick. Bow, bow! <laughs> Let's stop her. see that her face. She was like, whoa! <laughs> and now, with clean beds to mark, they just can't help themselves. only did that twice a day, but every single day, gradually that marking habit would go away. Right. Basic training is a must with any dog because, as Victoria knows only too well, even weenie lap dogs can become horrid little monsters. Hello, lovely. <laughs> Jodie 
Jody's little pack are no angels either. We know your bitches fight. What you have to do is you have to come above, cut through that emotion and take control of the situation. Before Victoria teaches Jody to distract the chihuahuas with a noise and move off. Ba -ba -ba. It's her attention they're after, so if she walks away, they've nothing left to fight over. It's much better to get it before the fight's in full yeah. flow. There. All right, ah. now. That's it, put them down on the ground and walk away. Okay, now, now, do it. Ah. That's it, good. Ah. You're not putting up with any of their nonsense. Yeah. If she's vigilant, Jodie should soon get her little growlers under control. Plus, using Victoria's chicken reward method, she could stop them bullying Paddy the Bulldog too. All right, Paddy's coming in now. Lots of chicken for the other dogs. Here we go. Good. Stops. When Victoria removes Paddy, the chicken stops. Do it one more time. Paddy comes back, chicken out. Oh. With rewards oh every time he comes in, the Chihuahuas are soon loving having Paddy around. Lots. If Jody keeps up the training and the Chihuahuas associate tasty treats with being nice to Paddy, the bullying should stop. Paddy's presence equals chicken. Because he's so handsome. Oh, oh, good boy. I love you. Day one has gone well. But Victoria wants to up the ante on day two and show Jody just how good a chihuahua can be. In contrast to Jody's naughty dogs, Jasmine is the model of obedience. Her owner, Melanie, has trained her to go around a special mini agility course. That is not a chihuahua. Classes in agility are a great way to bond with your dog and really improve their general obedience. So Victoria's keen to give Jody's dogs a go. So if you could just work maybe with Teddy. We'll try and Teddy, And just show yes. maybe a few agility things with him. OK. With a jump no larger than a stick of rock, Teddy starts off slowly. Good boy. Good boy. But with lots of praise, he's soon jumping the Chihuahua equivalent of a grand national hurdle. Come on, up, Teddy. Up, up. Come on. Good Yay. boy. Baby, baby. And baby will do anything for a bit of chicken. Yeah, that's good girl. clever girl. Jody, don't you see now how just with a tiny little bit of time that she's now oh, responding? Yes, yeah, amazing. Oh, yes, we like it. It's kind of made me want to go away now and just absolutely train them up to do every trick in the book. But before they start jumping through hoops, Victoria starts them off with a simple sit. He said, I've got a piece of chicken in my hands, and Baby is going to work out how to get it out of my hands. <laughs> She's going to try everything. Oh. When she puts her bottom on the floor, she gets the treat. Sit, good girl. Good girl. Putting the word to the action now. Just By learning that they only get the treat when they sit, all the dogs quickly pick up this obedience command. And even Bean excels herself. Good girl, Bean! That's a good girl. And that gives me hope. That just makes me go. They can be trained, they can. You're so clever. You are. All right. Victoria wants the family to get the dogs out on regular walks, so she's bought special harnesses to protect the Chihuahua's delicate little throats. If they don't want to go for a walk, just pick them up in your arms and then put them down, and eventually they'll get the confidence to follow. All right? OK. So good luck. They'll be left on their own now for two weeks to get to grips with Victoria's training regime. But already Jodie's got great news that stuns her mum. We got them to sit today. Did you? No. Will sit they down do it properly. Faint, please. <laughs> and Bean was the best at it. I don't believe it. Bean was the best. You've done very well. Look how you walk. Beautiful. Come on, then. <laughs> Over the next two weeks, Jodie is a slave to the timer. Yeah. Come on. And the dogs get out every hour. Slowly, the flow of pee in the house is replaced with tinkles in the garden. Most days there's nothing at all. We've gone three or four days at a time, no mess at all. The Chihuahuas now have to sit for their supper. Sit. And for Jodie's attention. And even little Lila's joining in. High five. Good girl. Regular walks give the pack new places to scent mark. 
all this exercise makes for tired, contented and happy dogs. We thought Victoria was taking on the biggest challenge of her life. I just hope that she's going to be as thrilled as we are when she sees what we've achieved. Mm, smells really fresh in here. I know. I hope the signal's good things. Of course. How's it been going? <laughs> really really good. good. Really? Yeah, really, really impressed. Yeah. They come home, they're desperate to go out every time. Right. They're, and they're holding it. They're holding it. They're really it. good. Have you been successful in introducing Lila into the pack? They've all accepted her. I mean, I can leave them all outside together and they don't hurt her. They don't, they're not horrible to her. Last time I was here, I made a bet that I couldn't make all the chihuahuas sit in a row. So now I'm going to test if you really have been working at it. Teddy, Teddy, okay. come and sit. Teddy, okay, all dogs sit. Good, Beast oh my time. goodness me, I'm absolutely amazed. <laughs> that is fantastic. I think I should be giving you the five pounds, but still we made the bet, <laughs> I know. so you better give I it to know. me now. But Victoria's mission won't be complete until Jodie's little pack have moved out of Mum and Dad's. Bye bye, Tommy. How's that feel? Great. Does it? No. Peace, no pee. Jodie's house will be new territory for the two hours, and two weeks ago there would have been a scent marking pee frenzy. But can they resist the urge today? <laughs> you keep an eye on the boys, and I'll keep an eye on the girls. Okay. Not a cocked leg in sight. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's great. Look at Ted. <laughs> Teddy's at the window guarding. And the rest of the, the chihuahuas are just sitting there. But will the dogs behave for a magazine cover photo shoot? This is Jodie. It's all right. Nice to meet you. And uh, these are the dogs. OK. <laughs> Take it away. <laughs> all in a day's work for Jodie but can the dogs cope under the spotlight? That's perfect where you are there. These true celebrity pooches perform like professionals. OK, that's the magic like that. I am so happy. This has exceeded my expectations. She's now in control. My work here is done. Jodie and the dogs are going to be fine.